I know your real life story. It's a very difficult story. There is so many parallels in this show to your real life. This thing about pulling out your hair. Yeah, trichotillomania. You're so open and honest, but yet you were embarrassed that you had this. When I was 13, I pulled out so much hair that I needed to get a wig and wow. wear it, wear a wig to school. And it was, it was humiliating. And it was, um, it was really hard. Is it humiliating because you know you should stop doing it? It was like just feeling like you're deformed, you know, like feeling, feeling ugly and unlovable and, um, and, and having big bald spots. I mean, it was like getting ready for school every day. You know, I ate my lunch in the nurse's office because, because people like were like, I heard someone say like that, that I made them sick. Um, wow. So kids were making fun of you at school. Yeah. And I was so you- extra confident. I always had a boyfriend. I was always like, everybody cool has no hair. You know, like I, I was just, I was just, I thought I was okay. Like I, I thought I was okay. And I didn't realize that I was not okay. And that the hair pulling was a symptom of that. I would not even realize I did it and just look down and there'd be a pile of hair. Were you so invisible to your parents that they didn't really address the situation? They did. They were, no, it was, my mom was especially like just horrified and upset by it. I, she would help me do my hair before school every morning and she would be crying while she helped me with my hair. Oh my yeah, God. This really, is like a major thing that you've got major, major. I'm getting choked up. I'm getting, I'm getting emotional. Um, because you had, I think you're and, getting emotional because you had to keep it a secret for so long. It's yeah. I, I, I didn't, it's been like a big, it's been my big secret. You know, I have so much shame about it and I just, I really just wanted to try to let go of it and accept it about myself. And, um, yeah, and this was, this was part of that. How did you stop it though? I still pull my hair. Oh, you do? I do. I still do it. If I, if I didn't have these Voel extensions, um, I would be, I, I couldn't be on camera. I, I have probably half the amount of hair I should have. Wow. And that's you all know, from pulling. And, and I'm lucky that um, extensions have become so normalized. And every woman you see on camera in any movie is wearing a wig or has a lot of added hair. That's just how it works in the business. It's not even strange. Like I used to be embarrassed about having like these little clip-in extensions but I just think all these things that we've, you know, been like ashamed of and hiding or, you know, w- women who, you know, we, we put on makeup, we put in extensions, we put, you know, put on Spanx. Like it, we're, it's, it's all, it's all good. It's like just doing whatever you want to do to feel good. The new show is fantastic. You know what I want to announce here, which is exciting, is that um, Hulu and Endeavor content have picked up Life and Bath for a second season. All Excellent. Right. I'm happy to hear that. When'd you get the news? Honestly, I just got a text right now. Look at you texting and talking at the same time. I'm well, very my impressed. Agent. That's busy. My agent. Yes. <laughs> I, I really wanted to, I really wanted to share that news on here. You know, I mean, what Love could be it. bigger? Yeah. 